this short video, I'm going to address the fact that I can't see the speedo when I drive the van because I'm so tall and the steering wheel has poor adjustment on these Fiat Ducatos. So I'm going to fit one of the heads up display units you can get. Um, just lean down. One of these off of Amazon. I'll put a link below. I don't have an Amazon store so I don't get nothing for this but the link below will be where we got it from. There's loads of YouTubers that have done this. I'm just putting it on simply because not all the YouTubers that have done this you follow if you get me. Right so in the box we get some plastic film presumably I'm guessing haven't even read the instructions you can stick that on your windscreen and it makes the display better I guess um, that looks like an adhesive pad of some kind instructions which as we know are for quitters um, a USB to a different type of connection don't think that's a type c anyway micro usb whatever it is don't know what that's for because it's maybe you can power it off something else if you used it as something else again we're just interested it's going to power off the obd and there's the unit itself let's have a look at getting them fitted so what we're going to do i've seen videos where people have taken this obd panel off and then had to take this off so i'm just going to take it off in one it's two little torx bolts I think they're about T25 by the looks of it and then this whole front panel should come off and we'll get access to the port let's have a look yeah so there you can see it's a T25 Torx bit this is why it's easier with one of these than a screwdriver whiz this off and see what we've got it's a very difficult one-handed that's why I put the camera down but I've pushed it all back on now it's just on clips you just pull it like that and then it'll be the same this end there we go so the whole panel comes off so Ian from traveling's from scratch you don't need to take that door off mate so there we can see what's called the OBD port this is stands for onboard diagnostics this is where you plug um, a code reader in and that actually talks to the ecu on the vehicle downloads any fault codes that have been in it etc etc but also it works the other way um, in that you can take readings from it so the head-up display will plug into there and basically display whatever the ECU is telling it, in which case we want to do speed, but you can do RPM, engine temperature, etc, etc. There's all different settings on the unit. We're only interested in speed for now. So I'm going to plug the unit into there, run the wire in and hide it up the side there. Shouldn't take more than five minutes. OK, with the wire unwrapped, the OBD will only go in one way. It's a certain shape. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's that shape and it will only go in that way by the looks of it we're in so that's connected up to the vehicle now I'm now going to route this wire somewhere neatly as I say up the side I cannot hold the camera and do that so I'll come back to you right there you go so this is um, this is really flexible you can see you can just push your finger in here you haven't got to take anything out the cable literally just goes down there Panel gaps like a British Leyland Allegro, look at that. So yeah, it's gonna go down there. It's already behind the foam. It's coming out at the back there. I'm just gonna get it in the position I want it and then push the excess down. I'll just show you this as I put it back together. So basically it just hinges on at the bottom, little clips that hook on, can you see? Just hooks on and then them spider clips there they literally just push into all the holes. You're just going to get the... It's, it's terrible. There we go. And we're on. Just put the two screws back in. Right. I don't know how good you can see that. I can see it perfectly on the screen. Um, it's running um, a diagnostic now. It's like That's the voltage. I've just turned the ignition on and off to boot it up. And it's obviously, because it's had the glow plugs on, it's dropped below 12 volts. 
but the position that that's in there although it's a slightly jaunty angle there it's actually level in the screen I don't want it directly in front of me I think that's just about right there so I'm going to permanently stick that down and hide the wiring there you go then that's in my permanent position I'm not sure I'm going to keep that little I've just put a little cable tie holder there just to stop me knocking the wire if I uh, open the blinds like I say I've got the engine running now and that is perfect for me you probably can't see that or if you can it's really really dim but I don't think there's any need for the reflective pads or anything like that um, I think we just leave it as is and uh, see how we go there we go then so that should make a great difference to me let's try and show you from my point of view the light I'm, I'm pointing the camera down now you can see the speedo so if you're short you can actually see what speed you're going. I'll pull it up to my eye line now, and I get that. I can see 10 mile an hour, and then probably 70. It's really annoying, so I'm forever dipping my head down, but now, fingers crossed, should be a bit better. All right, just flicking through the instruction book. It's obviously in uh, Chinglish, as we call it. Kindly attention, or if you want to be non PC, kindly attention. Who knows if that'll make it into the video, eh? Uh, yeah, it's just basically an instruction book, which, as we know, is for quitters. Um, just going to see if I can run through what it does. So, speed, revs per minute, over speed blah 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 so I'll keep them in the van because obviously we may need to adjust this there was a little spinny wheel you see where my finger is on the bottom where I plugged the uh, power point in that is really just to change whatever setting you're on but we just want it on speed and if we can see the speed as we're driving along that's good enough all right okay so yeah hopefully that's been helpful to someone as I say it's very very easy to do but even if it just gives you the confidence to have a go um, it should prove invaluable for tall people certainly it will make a big difference for me I'll insert some footage above picture in picture of what I can see when I'm driving it in the dark and uh, yeah I'll report back in a later video if there's an issue with it but I think it's pretty good I've seen a fair few people use them and uh, been waiting to get one for a while so there you go Catch you on another one. Ta-da!